It is another hot day and I've been running around the estate looking for a dog. We found him, but I don't like running on a hot day or any day. But yeah, just what I'd let you know. Hey guys, it's Chloe here. How you doing? And today I am doing my Q&A as promised. There are a few people who have left lovely questions and I am so excited to answer them. So the best way I can do this is by like doing a cut screen where it just shows the person's name of the ch their channel. That way I know I'm not going to say it wrong or spell it wrong because I've took the time and actually read your channel and got it 100% right. So yeah, let's start with the first questions from... So this beamer has left me five questions and I am going to answer them as quickly as I can but I may ramble a little bit. But yeah, the first question is, do you like horses? Yes, I love horses. I think they're really cute, especially when they're little babies and they've just been born and they're trying to stand up and learn how to walk and they fall. I mean, I love watching those videos. I'm like, oh my god, they're so cute. And then when they fall over, I'm like, oh, I just want to go into the video and pick you up. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I am a huge animal lover. I, there's not an animal that I can say I hate. I'm not keen on spiders, but I mean, I've held like a tarantula before. I'm not scared of spiders. Just not really keen on them, to be fair. That's probably the only animal I probably want to avoid. <laughs> I mean, I'm not scared of any animals, I don't have any phobias, I'm just not keen on spiders. <laughs> I mean, if there was one in here now, I'd probably scream and not, you know, run off and the spider would have to film the video. <laughs> uh, their second question is, if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? Um, I think my power would have to be invisibility, personally, just because you could have a lot of fun with invisibility. I mean, imagine filming pranks with invisibility. I mean, you could start fights with the invisibility power, I mean, you just hit someone and they think it's someone behind them or something, you know. So much you can do. I mean, I'm probably not the best person to have a superpower because I would not use it for good. <laughs> I'd be there like, what can I do next? I'd probably be the supervillain that turns around holding the cat, but instead of a cat I'd have a blood and shell like figure in my hand and be like, Scar! yeah uh, it would have to be invisibility because I think that is the most funnest superpower ever and you could kick people's asses if you needed to <sighs> be pretty cool and I mean if you're trying to get away from something or you've just got you know you just decide you know what I don't want to be in this class and just whew, vanish <laughs> their third question is what would you do if you saw Alfie Days in the street? Alfie Days is pointless blog. I think everyone on YouTube knows that. Um, I would probably ask him for an autograph and stuff like that. I've never really met anyone like famous or well known in the world. But yeah, I would like to think that I could be able to ask him for an autograph and just, just have a nice general conversation with him. It'd be quite cool just to... Uh, just a general chat really. I wouldn't like to be like oh my god I'm like your biggest fan because I, I don't think they would like that because they probably get that a lot um, I'd like to just sit and just talk to them just be like oh that's awesome you know any youtuber that I met I just like to talk with them and just be like oh so you know what made you want to start filming and stuff like that and just ask them for advice and stuff like that on videos as well but yeah Alfie Days is one of my favourite male youtubers I'll have to say that but I would definitely like to ask for his advice on video making and stuff like that. Because I, I reckon that'd be quite cool. Their fourth question is, what is your favourite film? This is an easy one for me. It is All Dogs Go to Heaven, the first film. Um, just amazing. I just love the whole story. And I love the two main characters in it, Itchy and... Charlie. I absolutely love this film. 
honestly a big childhood favourite of mine. Not from my childhood, but I did have it on video when I was little. And I bloomin' love this film. <laughs> Literally, it was probably all I watched every night before I went to bed. And it was it was quite a it's quite a dark film. In a, it's a little bit of a dark film for kids. I mean, it's not one you want them to watch when they go to bed anyway. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't seen it, I fully recommend you go and buy the DVD or whatever and watch it because it is such a good film in my eyes, especially the first one. Second one is a nice film, but it, it kind of doesn't stay, like it stays with the two main characters, but it doesn't follow the, the plot of the first, um, the first film. So it kind of lets it down a bit, which is kind of why I'm not keen on sequels of films, because sometimes they can ruin the film. But yeah, I love All Dogs Go to Heaven. I could literally watch that film over and over again and I'd still find it entertaining and I've got a hole in my sock. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to mess with because I was like, what's that down there? It's a hole in my sock. Um, their final question is, who is your favourite YouTuber? Hmm. I mean, you probably expected me to say someone else, but no, it's actually me. I am my own favourite YouTuber. No, I'm joking. I am joking on that. <laughs> um, I am nowhere near ready to consider myself as a YouTuber yet. But I think my favourite YouTuber is probably Zoella. Because I love all her makeup videos and stuff like that and all her looks. She's just awesome in a word and honestly she seems so nice in real life and she has anxiety like I do so it's just I feel like you know we have something in common we sort of know you know I just just Zoe Zoe is my favorite although it varies sometimes because I do just jump from channel to channel like sometimes I can get so obsessed with one channel like at the minute I am kind of obsessed with Zoella's vlogmas bit weird it's summer but I'm obsessed with vlogmas not normal someone call the doctors tell them I've escaped the asylum please please <laughs> but yeah um, I'd have to say Zoella because she's just really she's just generally a lovely person and I would not hesitate if I saw her in public to go up and say hi and talk to her and just see how her day is and stuff like that. I think that's what most people would like. Like if you ever see like a YouTuber in the street, they just want you to go up to them, say hi and just talk to them like they're, you know, a person. Because there are some of their fans, that just, they just get overwhelmed like, oh my god! And stuff like that. I have, n I have no idea what that is about yet, but yeah. It would be cool. It would be cool to meet her and Alfie Days. So yeah, maybe a little. Maybe I, I need to go to like one of their meetups or something and see them. Be kind of cool. Something for the future. Now I am going to move on to the second person who has left me a bunch of questions for this Q and A. So I'll see you then. The next person is. So yeah, this viewer has asked me a load of questions as well, and I am going to answer them as much as I can. They are a little bit, like, close, so I can't really, like, give specific locations, but I'm going to answer them the best I can. Um, first one is, where do you live? I live in the UK. No, sorry, what country do you live in? Yes, I live in the UK. I've lived, I've always lived in the UK, although I was nearly born in Turkey, but that is another story for another video, <laughs> which I'll say for then. And their second question is, what shop do you buy your guinea pig stuff? I buy it in the pet shop that I work in. It's quite a small shop and it's known as Dolly Pet Supplies. And yeah, it's quite a small business, family-owned business. It's not well known at all. 
Um, so yeah, that was the final question as well. Is it a popular pet shop? No, it, it's not popular in a sense. It's like worldwide. It's really small chain. I only use that pet shop just because it's a lot closer, a lot easier, and they're a lot cheaper there. But yeah, they know their stuff there. And that's why I work for them. Because <laughs> I want to know more stuff. So yeah, those were all the questions. I hope that I was able to answer them as well as those people would have liked me to. Um, if you want to be in the next Q&A, just let me know. Leave some questions down below. And again, reading comments videos, just do the same. Leave your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And thank you for you two viewers which have sent me in those questions. I will link your channels down below. Please go and check their guys' channels out. Or just subscribe to them or just show them some love guys because that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see all you beautiful people next week. Bye guys.